Hello everyone and welcome to another Company Heroes 2 Battlecast. Today we have HOI Zark Cloud playing for the Soviet Union and Helping Hands playing for the Wehrmacht. We already got two conscripts, second conscript on the way from uh, Zark Cloud and we got first grenadier on the way from Helping Hands. Infantry company is already up. Engineers capping the cutoff. Skipping this point. Helping Hands capping his point. Resource point right in front of his base. From each person we have Jaeger Armor Doctrine Elite Troops Close Air Support and from HOI is our cloud we got Guard Motor Coordination uh, is that Tank Hunter? Tank Hunter Tactics and Shock Rifle Frontline Tactics second conscripts on the field from is our cloud And the second grenadier from Helping Hands moving out onto the field. It's done. Grenadiers ready. So he wired off the tank. This is a common thing to do for players on this part of the map. Pioneers capping up the middle VP. Grenadiers have moved up into the house here, so we should be able to win this fight against these conscripts. Oh, he's already lost the model, so maybe not. Conscripts might be able to pull off a victory out of this engagement. These couple, these few are not getting the cover modifier, I'm pretty sure. Only these three are. He's going to need to bring another Grenadier into that fray, yes. which he's going to do right now. Oh, he's going to pull it off. He's seen the other conscript flanking to the middle. Machine gun on the way from Helping Hands of the fourth conscript from Zark Cloud. Zark Cloud's going to try to get this cutoff building, and that's going to be deadly for Helping Hands. Helping Hands, the machine gun's not going to make it up in time. Helping Hands is going to have to pull away from this area. Zark Cloud's got the conscript set up. Find the Haybill here. Conscript's flanking to the right of the building. Good choice to cap this position, but if this MG42 gets line of sight, these guys are screwed. Conscript's going to cap the fuel point on Helping Hands. Left hand side, Pioneers are going to beat these Engineers. There goes the Engineers. The mission point's going to be not connected because this point is not connected. Conscript's getting back into that building. Helping Hands in a disarray right now because he's let him get that building there. And that spells doom for this side of the map. Conscript's also sandbagging, so that's going to be even more difficult for Helping Hands to deal with. A little bit dangerous for Helping Hands to play like this. He's, if he was going to make an MG42 his second unit, he's got to be more conservative because now he's got sandbags put in here, heavy covers set up here. At least he has that house. He doesn't have this house anymore. He forced that conscript to off. And this is Pioneer got forced off on the left hand side. MG42 might get a lucky suppression on these conscripts. Probably not. They're too far out of range. Grenadiers. Starting to pull ahead in this engagement. MG42 is helping out with that a little bit, but it's not shooting right now because he's shooting at that last conscript model. Sandbagging this point. Sand helping hands trying to stop him from doing that by popping into the building. They do take increased damage while they're building stuff. Uh, they are in negative cover as well. But now they're in heavy cover because of sandbag, obviously. Grenadiers have pulled ahead. I definitely they should, they should be able to win this fight. Not anymore. Second Grenadier squad flanking around. No nice flank by Helping Hands. Gonna force him out of that position. Not sure why he's not finishing that. that Grenadier won't be able to win that. He needs to be careful. These conscripts could wipe that Grenadier. Ura on the conscripts. Conscripts try to steal the building. That's why Helping Hands pulled back. That Grenadier pulling back before he loses that engagement. Conscripts crawling around from the suppression. M sec second MG42 on the field. And he actually did lose that Grenadier squad to that conscript behind the sandbag. That's kind of a big blow that could have been avoided by Helping Hands. Grenadier's in the building against the conscripts that are behind the sandbag. MG42 should pin these guys soon, but he retreats before that happens. Finally getting control of his munitions points. Pioneer's going to cap up this side of the map, but they run into the engineers finding mines. They cancel the mines. 
Engineer is going to pull back. They won't be able to win that fight since they upgraded their uh, Minesweeper. Mg42 setting up in this position. You might get a lucky suppression in. Definitely going to put more damage on to the of his opponent. Mg42 setting up in this position here. Going to cover that area too. Wire going down. If this conscript was just a little more out of the squad, it would cause that squad to get suppressed. But it's completely getting the cover modifier and it's working as intended. People complaining about... Ooh. That'd be wrong there. That was a long time to take him to get suppressed though, so... It does make sense. Flamethrower on this Pioneer. He's not going to be able to get any Flamer crits on these squads, but if he gets them down a little lower, they're about a half health now, Flamer crit, crit should start popping in, but he's not going to hang around because he's pretty low health himself. Doesn't want to lose that Pioneer with a Flamethrower. MG42 pinning this squad, suppressing this squad, locking down this whole part of the area, which is good. That's what Helping Hand should have focused on doing at the beginning, get his MG42 in position to defend, because he has not teched up at all, so he's got no counter to these MG42s. He went Minesweepers, he's got five Conscript Squad, he's probably going to go Tank Hunter Tactics. Two Conscript Squad, they're pretty low in running cross negative cover. Grenadier is going to drop quite a few models here before they get forced off. Might actually wipe the squad if he didn't move, but he's going to retreat before that happens. MG42 might cut the squad down. One more burst. And he gets out of the arc. Oh, he gets wiped right at the edge of the arc. MG42, he's going to need his nice suppression there. Could see a rifle grenade come over the fence. Yep, this might what we see. Rifle grenade. Oh, wait. Ooh, this could lead to another weep. Wipe. Weep. Oh, a double wipe, maybe. Well, this is bad for Zark Cloud. That squad gets away. This squad should not get away. There we go. Oh, and he got the last one just as, just as it was about to go into the fog of war. Wow, Helping Hand's definitely ahead in this game now. He's finally got a mortar out to counter these MGs. And he went guard motor, so it's a 120. New 120. Costs a little bit cheaper, does a little bit less damage, but low health squads will still get one shot wiped by that thing. Or if they're clumped up, they still could still get even get wiped out. G42 setting up, defending this position. He doesn't have line of sight, so he can't start shooting at anything yet. Pioneer's giving him that line of sight he needs. Might be able to get pull off a suppression here. They will definitely eventually suppress this squad. Uh, the only question is when. Helping the hands might need a mortar himself. He's going to go half-track so he can reinforce on the fly. MG42, finally, he's finally getting control of his fuel because, look at Zark Cloud has definitely pulled ahead in fuel. Could see a tech up here. Would like to see a tech up here. Quick T70, he could definitely devastate Helping Hands. 120 hit in the house. Is that a barrage? That's just auto-fire. Flamethrower coming up. Going to clear these conscripts out of this building. Needs to be careful. Grenadier's going to push on the building, the mortar's going to be going, watch out, this mortar shot's coming down, and there goes the Pioneer squad, oh, that could have been wiped, if that was, if that was before the nerf, I think that squad was dead. Grenadiers could run to the cutoff, there's only this one conscript squad behind every cover to defend, he's helping hands, got to put the pressure on now while he's up. Could definitely get a pull ahead lead, but a T70 is going to be on the way quick, or an M5, one or the other. I don't know which one he's going to go. Could actually go for a T34, but I think a T70 would be way better right now. Helping, hand, helping Hands does not have healing yet. Watch out for that 120. Gonna start wiping the squads. Pull him back to the half track though. He needs his flamer up here to start suppressing stuff. He can either start decapping. He doesn't need to cap this point. Just decap everything. Decapping is way more important than capping uh, on the opponent's side of the map. 
because of the forces in the capital and you'll start popping in incendiary rounds on this MD-42 maybe. He's low on munitions. Mortar drops a couple more models on these Grenadiers. Pack guns coming up. T-34 on the way. That's going to be a 10 minute T-34. That's so quick. MD-42 still sitting over here. He's trying to keep that mortar firing. Keep plucking away. 8 kills on the mortar already. Definitely a huge impact on that 120. Trying to get Zark Cloud back into this game. Mortars keeping helping hands on the move. Rifle grenade on the building. Poor choice. Not going to do anything. Other than bring it down. Rough grenade away. One more model left, but that conscript should be away. Grenadier is basically locking down this whole area. Pack gun supporting in the rear. No teller mine going around on the flank, though. Pretty and close air support chosen from helping hands. That 120 would have definitely did damage there to that MG42 squad before the patch. Coming in, gonna Faust it. MG42 is gonna get cleared though by the 120. Needs to be careful with this recruit. Needs to be careful with that recruit. Nice recruit by uh, Helping Hands. Gonna retreat and maybe get his MG42 out of there. Pack's getting confused though, but uh, this T34 is not repaired, so he's got time. Three cap going on Zark Cloud. And the point's ticking against him. He's down to three conscript squads. Probably gonna see some guards pretty soon from Zark Cloud. And I just pulled him back to this building. Healing going up from helping hands, so he doesn't get wiped by that mortar. G42 reinforcing up. MG42 still set up in this building here. I'm gonna be holding off, no problem. Another con squad on the way instead of gr instead of a uh, guard's rifle. He has a lot of munitions. He doesn't have Molotov's tech, so he's better off to go guards right now. Not sure what the choice is behind that. He would have had enough to build call out a guard squad. Fresh conscripts have arrived. P. Gren squad on the way from Helping Hands. Color mine going down right here. Conscripts capped at this point and put up a sandbag so they're going to be able to defend the Pioneers with the half track support and a yes. Grenadier squad will be able to Need force that out no problem. Veteran C1 on this mortar already, and it's got 13 kills. Could use that to clear the pack out. Helping Hands only got the pack for this. He's gonna go Shrek's. He's getting Shrek's on his P-Grens right off the bat. Deal with the T-34. T-34 moving over to the same side of the map. Grenadier's down to two models. Is he going to shift the half-track over? Half-track's going to shift over. Could bait this T-34 to bring in the pack up. Pack's just sitting where it is. Teller mines put down here and here. Where else does he put down teller mines? Anywhere else? Teller mine down. No, that's a Soviet TM mine. T-34 sitting in this position. And just Shrek's in ambush area. Definitely pick up, consider picking up a mortar uh, helping hands. Or maybe... And converted resources twice now, I'm assuming. No, only once, I think. 
mines everywhere on this point. He's got to be careful helping hands. Negative cover could end up leading to quite a few losses and then T-34 to finish them off. Pumping out though. I'm going to retreat the squad. T-34 is not going to give chase. Pagan shifting around. He's just backing it up a little bit in case he comes up. Because now he knows where the T-34 is. That track moving around the field, reinforcing his MG42. This game got a lot more static since Dark Cloud and Helping Hands didn't want to push him. Points ticking in his favor now. And we're going to see a push coming up pretty soon. Mines everywhere here. Helping Hands need to get a mine sweeper. Otherwise, these mines could be devastating to anything that comes over here. Rifle grenade. Troops get out of the building, but take quite a few casualties before the building comes down. 120 coming down. Helping hands already teched up to tier 2. Is he going to skip it? I think he's going to skip it. Nope. Tier 3 structure going up right now. And we're going to see a P4 probably. I think a mortar would have been a better choice first because he doesn't have enough fuel for anything anyway right now. I guess you just want to get the structure up before you blood any man for Back on firing away. Gets one shot in on the T-34. Lots of sandbags set up for Zark Cloud. Gunnadeer is trying to move in but takes quite a bit of damage before even closing the gap. See, without the mortar, he has no way of clearing these points. He needed a mortar. Um, or a tank, but he does not have enough fuel. He, are we going to see an Oswin? We're probably just going to see a P4 come out. It's going to take a little bit longer. Just misses the teller mine. Trex get a nice shot in. T-34 is going to back away just in time. That gun did not move from its position. Recap on helping hands though. Combat engineers are standing by. Getting a nice flank in. T-34 is going to stop that. Panzer Shrek squad coming out. Needs to be careful. He doesn't get fausted. And he's trying to faust. One Panzer Shrek shots. They both actually miss. One hits the house. One hits the ground. Panzer Faust got hit. So that T-34 is not coming back for a while. Helping Hands doesn't need to give chase though. Guess he wants to give chase. I mean he could get in there and throw a nice bundle grenade on that mortar. This mortar is going to devastate his blob here. He's a little bit pumping up. It was a good flank because this is the only option to really flank. He could have flanked here but he would have to force that con squad out. He could have flanked over this way but there's mines everywhere over here. So best choice to flank was right here. This pioneer's in danger. He needs to move this P-Grand squad up. If he would just move it to the house here, he could snipe this T-34. But I guess he does not know the T-34 is still there. Well, this is happening. Soviet troops going to decap this fuel. Helping hands reinforcing from his half track. And there's a P-4 on the way as well. Oh man, helping hands could have capitalized on this by taking this house. Actually, maybe not. One shot could have crippled that house and he would have lost his P-Grand squad. So, Zark Cloud's going to need something to help deal with this P-4. So, the, uh, he does have a Zisk gun on the way. Helping Hands, I do think, this need, needs a mortar, though, to deal with all these sandbags. Or a sniper. He needs to pick one or the other. We are exposed here. Strafing Run comes in from the Luftwaffe to pin these conscript squads in behind the cover here. How many, how many kills does the 120 have? A second 120 on the field, so yes. To counter the MGs, he went two mortars. And an AT gun to back up against other tanks. He's got, he's got in a pretty good position right now. Uh, helping hands. My opinion does need a mortar. 
Got Shrek's a pack and ATs. Good against tanks, or uh, P4, excuse me. G42 not set it up. He could have capitalized on this by oorahing in. P4 was going to shift over though. G34 needs to be careful. There's mines everywhere. Holy shit, look at all the mines. It's like Al Alamein. Or uh, Cursed. P4 moving over, gonna get a flank shot. Misses! T34 backing up. Both Panther and T34 miss again. Con Squad gets suppressed and retreats. 120 barraging it. Whoa. What the hell just hit? Mines, double mines go off on these pioneers, almost kill the whole squad except for the last man. Nice little push coming up from Zark Cloud Mortars in support. We see a lot more combined arms this patch, which is what I like. A little bit more slower pace, but I definitely like the more combined arm. And you gotta definitely be more strategic now with your choices. Like, if he was to rush this T34, uh, T34 in, he would definitely lose it. There's mines everywhere. And if he was to send his P4 on the same map, there's mines everywhere as well. P4 gets hit by the AT gun. Backs up behind the hedge here, blocks the shot. Shrek's set up. AT gun set up. Just needs him to run over the Tweller. This is a stable from his Tweller, so they're going to get set off by the mine. Is there a Tweller there? I think there was a Tweller there. Half track still reinforcing squads on the field. No mortar from helping hands yet, I'm surprised. I mean, he's more he's not to keep it on the move to counter to avoid these beasts. Engineer is mining up the left hand side again. The same spot they were before, in yellow cover. I don't know about that. MG team has been the Helping hands is land though and got a minesweeper. Wrong side of the map though. We are losing a sector. We have new resources available. T-34-85 is on the field from Zark Cloud. The sector has been cut off. Potential to finish the game here or utterly throw the game. With his, if he plays, does some aggression act, aggressive action with these T-34s, there's a mine blocking these two choke points. T-34 is going to come up. First shot bounces off the T-34. Second shot bounces. Tosh is bouncing left and right against each other here. These tanks aren't doing anything. First shot pens. AT gun pens into the T4. And in the middle we're seeing a Stuka strafing run, wasted resources. On these 85s. Helping hands needs a stop. Converting resources and he needs a stug or something because one pack and P4 is not going to be able to deal with all these tanks. I don't think Zark Cloud is going to... knows he went close air support and he's not going to dive into his area of the map. If Zark Cloud gets a minesweeper, this game is almost pretty much over. Said he's not. Might, might see a minesweeper on the way pretty soon here. <coughs> Surprised we have not. If someone goes close air support against me, I always go minesweeper because you know what they're, they got. They got S mines everywhere they got. Surprisingly, no S mines from helping hands, though. HMG here. Finally, a mortar on the way from helping hands. I'm just that enough. And the P Gren squad died, but I missed it. Flank coming from the Grenadiers and the Flamethrower team on the right. P4 bounces off the front all armor of the P34. Both 85 shifting. I'd leave my P4 right there, wait for bait. Shift the pack over. We have 
points remaining. So our cloud definitely knows that there's something there. And all T-34 has wiped that Pioneer squad. He's gonna... You can't fight that, buddy. You gotta be careful. Three shots is all it's gonna take to take down that P-4. T-34-76 won't reliably penetrate the P-4's frontal armor, but the 85's can. Not too often they're going to bounce out the front of a P4's armor. Pack gun set up in negative cover. Could get cleared in two shots by the 85s. Possibly even one shot if he's lucky. Ready for panzer busting. How can we help? Panzer 4, ready. New guys, listen to me if you want to live. What's that mortar barraging? Oh, it's barraging the 120. 120 counter barraging. Push coming from open hands on the AT gun. And focus on trying to clear that AT gun and steal it. So close to decrewing it. Rifle grenade misses the conscript squad, does a little bit of damage though. Could pull off the wipe, and there's a wipe. T-34 trying to come in and get some revenge. Uh, incapable of doing so. This squad's really low though. I'm gonna go back to base and heal up. T-4 moving up. Pack gun gets shot in. T-4 moving up. Misses his first shot. Down at half health on that T-34. Two T the fours in the middle locking down with the conscript squad and the one twenties are just gonna devastate any static targets, so the grenadiers stop, they're gonna be done. Still in a dangerous spot against these two eighty fives, but need something else to help deal with the T thirty four eighty fives. He could take up the tier four, but he chose to go close air support and keep converting resources. He's got four hundred munitions and nothing to use it on. Where's his pioneer at? Oh, he's attacking ground to the bush. 120 though. This, not gonna, they're not set up right now, but he needs to be careful. Moving hand shifting his units around too much. He needs to just stop and shoot. Still got on the field from helping hands. And the Panzer Grau camo. G42 just got hit badly by a 120. 120 is going to come in and. Stug turning. Fires gets a pen. Stug can now reliably penetrate a front of our armor T34 as the min pen is more than the frontal arm of the 234 and the 120s finally clear, clear that mortar if he was going to use a mortar he had to put it over here just to stop him from sitting behind the sandbags in the middle he had to stay out of range of the 120s barrage coming on the pack gonna clear this pack out he's got a reposition t34 is gonna probably charge in now i'm gonna charge in around this side because he knows there's a mine there he knows Maybe not. One mine, heavy engine damage on the T-34. Panzer IV gets marked and goes down like ease. Pack 40 has got to come up. Strafing run finishes off that tank, but he kites this. Pack 40, Pack 40 is going to go down, no problem. Guards snipe the last couple models on that. And now there's only one stuck against two T-34s. One's a 76, one's a 85. Uh, stupid dive bomb coming down on the point, I think. He's gonna annihilate a couple guards. Uh, but he's gonna finish capping now. Stug's gonna give chase. Needs to be careful. The AT gun's still over here. This is dangerous position for the Stug. Could get buttoned by these guards. And now nah, he's buttoned. Uh, Pax misplaced. Stug's pretty much screwed now. And there goes the stug. One of our panzers has been destroyed. They're shooting at my crew. Yeah. MG 
Oh, no hands just losing you left and right. And I think Zark Clouds has got this in the bag almost. Oh, what killed the other 85? Where did it die? Enemy forces are securing our territory. Grenadiers, reinforce! I missed the death of that 85. There's a Stug. There's the first 85, I think. That gun getting a few shots in. Engine damage, pack 40. One shot, needs to get one more, needs to keep line of sight. Pack 40 should be able to pull it off if it doesn't miss. And it gets it, but Conscript's pushing up. This pack gun's got to get the hell out of here. MG's set up to cover its retreat. Nice positioning by Helping Hands. Helping Hands is definitely behind in the infantry department. Stupid close air support suppresses all that infantry. But there's going to be another set of 85s on the field pretty soon here. Grenadier should be able to win this engagement on the left here. Rifle grenade out. Doesn't get dodged, but it doesn't do much damage either. Usually only want to use a rifle grenade if the enemy squad's at half health behind cover. But he's got closer support, so you can just spam rifle grenades for days. Um, not the extent of his fuel. But him, him closing the gap wasn't a mistake. Um, now he's going to probably lose this grenadier right here. Yep. If he had G4, G43s, that would have been a different circumstance because he could shoot on the move, but the the MG42 you can't shoot on the move, so. I know he needed the cap, but he still had time. He was a little bit reckless. Another Stug on the field. He's going to have one Stug to counter two C45s on a pack gun, but these mortars are just going to eat his MG42s alive. Stolen pack to as well from Zark Cloud. Grenadier is going to have to hold against these conscript squads. He's not getting the heavy cover bonus. He's got to make sure he got to make sure that green that green shields on your squad. Otherwise, you're not getting the bonus. Push their support anyway. He's going to force these squads up. He's got to stop using that though. He just misses this mine. I can see this squad retreating and get wiped by this mine. Helping hands is a little bit too overextended. Not enough manpower though for uh, Zark Cloud to. Yeah, he's definitely saving for the 85s. He can't, can't push right now though. That buys helping hands some time. Possibly get some more mines down. He needs sweepers. He needs to get sweepers ASAP. This is gonna be a command bunker, or just a MG42 bunker that covers flank. I think that's what it's gonna be. MG42 bunker. There's mines everywhere here. He needs sweepers. Recruises mortar. Half track being replaced. And those 85s are going to be on the field soon from Zark Cloud. Guardsmen holding up the left hand side. The red guards. Red Cloud cut off right now, so Helping Hands is slowly pulling ahead in the resource department. We are losing a sector. And the mines are Grenadier. just detonating on a Grenadier's double mine de detonation. G42 is going to pull it back. It's a little bit overextended. The pack's overextended. 
No mine in front of it to stop the T-34s from charging in. Only one grenadier to apply a Faust, but he needs to make sure the T-34 gets damaged. <laughs> gets a minesweeper to clear the mines out, but SMG-42. Is our cloud preparing an attack? Not a mine here. Still gonna tell her to cover this flank. Coming hands trying to push, but he can't do it. He's gonna be overextended. Pioneers. As soon as the the 85s are already on the field, so. If I was helping hands, I would have put a mine on top of his mine. You found something? Maybe he's gonna do that right now. No. Damn it. Oh, he's got a mine sweeper right there anyway. This, this side's gonna go to Zark Cloud. As long as that sweeper hangs around. This MG42 is probably gonna die. I'm gonna retreat it, but it's gonna get wiped by these 85s. So much damage to infantry when they're point blank like that. And these T 34s are coming in. Stug's gonna come fight it, but. Oh, he's gonna get wiped. No, don't hang around for the post. Boom. Oh. Not worth the munitions. What's that? No, that wasn't worth it either. It's 50 fuel every time you pretty much use one of these, right? You know that, right? Oh. I don't think close air support really benefited helping hands here uh, too much. I mean, he did get a couple more mines down in the early game, but he could have got those down anyway. And those Stuka close air supports. One of them killed the tank, I mean, but he probably would have had another tank anyway to finish that if he didn't convert fuel from missions. Oh, this Stug is so dead. Yep, it's dead. The is going to dive it, and it's going to be out of position. He's going to wipe the Pioneer instead, and he won't be able to repair the Stug. Oh, if this Pioneer gets away, it's going to help helping hands out a lot. Stuka dive bomb coming in. Gonna pull off. Still converting munitions, so he's only going to have the stuck for a while. He gets one. AT gun. Doesn't wipe any squads, though. T-34 is just going to shift over the right-hand side now. And uh, get the double cap to finish hands off. Close air support. Converting fuel for munitions is just like a, a band-aid. Unless you're putting them on LNG Grens or something, but if you're just using the airstrikes, it's just a band-aid. Definitely just a band-aid. I mean, if you're killing tanks every strafing run, it's not a band-aid, but... He used the strafe and a dive bomb to clear 180 again. Could finish this tank off. And the Stug misses, so it's going to go down. Pack gun's going to set up. He's not going to give chase. Could have gave chase. Probably doesn't worry about mines. Stuka, a T support ready to take out enemy armor. Are our territory. 120's wreaking havoc on hands too as well. Half track hits a mine. More conversions, so helping hands needs to spend his manpower on something then now. It's loading too much. Half track goes down to 85, pack guns getting kited around. Stug's coming up, it's one shot away from death, he sees it coming, it's marked as well.
Hackens gonna get cleared. Stug gets does target weak point. Hackens clears it. Hans knows he needs to push him off this point. Right now, I wouldn't be using the Stug to do that though. Where's the 85 at? Just sitting in base, uh, auto repairing. Forces that off again, stops Hyans from capping the point, or stops uh, Zerg Cloud from capping. He's floating a lot of resources, could pick up a P-Gren squad and get some Shreks and put that munitions to use. Pioneers ready for assignment. Pioneers ready for anything! Grenadiers here! Standing by! They're flanking us! Stuka ready to strafe enemy troops. We're ready! Pack here. Granat werfer team. Ready! Stuck here! P Grand Squad and MG42 on the way from hands, but I'm not sure if he can hold. MG42, oh no, his MG42 is not set up. And it's all pumped up, the mortar barrage can clear it, no problem. MG42 mass suppressing everything. Needs to get on the cap, needs to get on the cap. No, that's it. Maybe not. Ooh, rifle grenade wipes the squad though. And, and he wipes the squad that was capping, so <laughs> he holds the point a little longer. And one sh one nice shot's gonna kill this pumped up squad. Shrek's on the way, but he needs to just wait. The enemy is taking our territory. Oh, I decapped the middle. And three caps gonna be on. Oh, hands just gonna run out of time. 120's gonna come in. Oh no! Here comes the 120s. He's gonna just get melted. Our brave infantry is dying. No, he used a stupid dive bomb on the wrong point. Wrong point, hands. You should use it on this side. Oh. I think you need line of sight anyway for that. Stuka dive bomb does disconnect the territory, so. Would have bought him a little more time. And the one funny just wiping squads left and right. Hands are trying to cap with a mortar. That's desperation. These 120s are going to clear them off. There's a con squad coming. I don't think Hands can pull this off. No, he's not going to be able to cap in time. That's, that's CG right there. Those air support pins him. Hands throwing everything into the meat grinder now, but the AT gun's stopping him from capping. Clears the AT gun, but he's. He needs to use it. He needs to convert. He can con he can do it. He can convert. Convert. He can have converted and stick a dive bomb. And he kinda saved the day. But that's gonna be GG. That would have been enough for another keep it 485. There was no way hands was coming back by keeping converting munitions. That was probably the reason he lost. He kept converting munitions. And they finally fixed the MG42 model. It doesn't look all derpy. Well guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one everyone.